Okay, so we're gonna do the in-cab inspection. We're gonna start with our air systems check at this time. So the way we're gonna do that in this particular truck is we wanna start with our pressure, our air pressure below 90 PSI. Uh, right now I can see that we're above 90, so I've gotta bleed the air system down until we get below 90 PSI. I can fan the brakes until we're below 90. We're well below there. So now I'm gonna do a safety start so that I can build my pressure up and check that my air governor has cut in. Safety start. I'm watching my air gauge here and it is climbing. I can see that it's working properly and we're building pressure. So the air governor has cut in below 90. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Now I expect my governor to cut out between 120 and 140 PSI. I'm gonna do that test. I'm gonna set up for it now. Uh, I'm gonna put the truck into low gear. I'm gonna shut the truck off. I'm gonna leave my key turned on in the on position and I'm gonna release my brakes. Let all my pedals off. So my brakes are released, my key is on and I'm in low gear so I cannot roll. Okay, so I'm gonna do my applied brake pressure test. I'm gonna hold my brake pedal down firmly and I will not lose more than four PSI in a single minute. I'm gonna start my pressure at 80 PSI and I'm starting the time now. Again, I will not lose more than four PSI in one minute. And through the power of television, we'll say that that's been one minute right there. Beep, beep, beep. I have not lost any pressure, zero pressure. Okay, the next test we're gonna do is our low air warning light. Uh, we're gonna test that by fanning my brakes and my low air warning light should come on at 55 PSI or above. Okay, our low air warning light came on at 55 PSI, so that's working properly. Next test is our, uh, our, our brake valves, our air valves, the tractor protection valve and the trailer parking brake. I wanna make sure that these valves pop out between 20 and 40 PSI. I'm gonna continue to fan my brakes until they pop out. Okay, my air valves popped out at 30 PSI. So that concludes my air systems check and everything is working properly. So I'm gonna do a safety start and while my air pressure is building, I'm gonna do my in-cab inspection. My brakes are released or set, so safety start. Okay, I'm gonna do my uh, in-cab inspection at this time. I'm gonna start with my seat belt. My seat belt is uh, securely mounted on both ends. It latches properly. My belt is not cut, ripped, torn, or frayed, and it's adjusted properly for me. The next thing I'm going to inspect is my all my glass in the truck. So that's gonna be my side windows, my mirrors, and my windshield glass. I wanna make sure that they're all secure. They're not uh, broken, cracked, or damaged. There's no illegal stickers on any of my glass, and they're all clean and clear. 
Next thing I'm going to do is make sure that my side windows roll up and down smoothly. Now I want to inspect my mirror brackets. I want to make sure that they're all secure. They're not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged, and none of the brackets are missing. I also want to make sure that my mirrors are adjusted properly for me. Uh, coming back, I already did my windshield, so now I want to get my wiper arms and blades. Uh, the arms are securely mounted. They're not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. Uh, and our wiper blades, the rubber blades, are secure. They're not damaged and they're not missing. If I wanted to use windshield washer fluid, I would operate that to clean my windshield. All right, the next thing I want to test is my heater defroster. So I'm in the defrost position. I go to full hot and check that the fan's working. My heater and defroster work properly. All right, the next thing I want to test, uh, I'll go ahead and do my uh, gauges, my three gauges, three words. So my temperature, engine temperature gauge is working properly. It's at an adequate range and there's no warning lights on the dash. My uh, engine oil pressure is working properly. It's at an adequate range and there's no warning lights on the dash. And our volts or charging system. It's working properly. It's at a proper range for charging and there's no warning lights on the dash. Next thing I'm gonna do is my indicators on my dash. I wanna check my left turn signal indicator here, my right indicator here, my four-way flashers, both of them, and next I'll test my high and low beam indicator right here. Okay, uh, the next thing, let's see here, that's my gauges, that's my lights. Um, so from there, I'm gonna test that my horn works. In this truck, I have a city horn and I have an air horn all work properly. Uh, the next thing I want to test is my uh, safety equipment. So I have a properly rated and secured fire extinguisher uh, that is not damaged or missing. And I also have uh, uh, three reflective triangles behind the seat that are secure, not damaged or missing. And I also have uh, six spare fuses with me that are behind the seat. So that's my three emergency equipments. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I didn't miss anything. So again, I got my seat belt, I got my side windows, mirrors, windshield. Uh, I demonstrated my window works properly. I got my wiper arms and blades. Uh, oh, I do need to test that my wipers work properly uh, over here. So my wipers do work smoothly. Okay, uh, I got my heater defroster, I got my horn, I got my three gauges, and I got my indicators, and I got my safety equipment. So that concludes my in-cab inspection. Now what we're gonna do at this time, before I finish and get out, is I'm gonna test my three parking, my three brakes uh, tests that I have. So the first one I'm gonna choose to do is I'm gonna put the truck into low gear, and I'm gonna release my trailer brake, and I'm gonna test my tractor brake that's set. So I'm gonna pull gently to make sure that it tugs, okay? So that means that my tractor parking brake is working properly. Now I'm gonna reverse these, so I'm gonna pull my trailer brake, release my tractor brake, so that I can test my trailer. I'm gonna pull gently, Okay, so that tells me that I'm coupled to the fifth wheel and my trailer brake is working properly. Okay, now I'm gonna release both brakes. I'm gonna roll forward, both hands on the wheel and uh, make sure that my service brakes are working properly and that they don't pull left or right, which would indicate a brake out of adjustment. Okay, service brakes work properly. We did not pull left or right. That concludes my in-cab inspection.